everybody this is my first real video with a real video camera rather than my iPod and I figured for my first real video for my new channel that I should do an elf haul and I've been collecting elf stuff from for just a little while from um, Target, Big Lots, Kmart which stuff was on sale there because our Kmart is going out of business and also from eyeslipsface.com which is elf's website and it's a great website by the way and I just ordered some more stuff last night, which I'm very excited because everything was buy one, get one free. And so everything I ordered was half price, which was wonderful. I didn't pay more than $3 for anything. So let's get started. I've got quite a few products to show you. And we'll start with my favorite products, which are lip products. The first thing I want to show you is this $1 lipstick. And this is in Fantasy. And... It's a brown color, and I'll swatch a little bit on my hand, and there you go. And it's a nice kind of a praline type color, and it stays on well. I can eat dinner and have it just stay on, which I really, really like because I can eat dinner, and then my lipstick's still there. I don't have to reapply it necessarily after dinner. It's creamy. It's moisturizing. Um, it's got a really nice texture. I don't know about the smell. It has a very slight fruity smell, but not much smell really at all. And there's no bad taste with it like there are with some lipsticks. Okay, the next thing I want to show you are some of my favorite things, which are the Super, Glo Super Glossy Lip Shines with the SPF of 15. And I use these a lot. Um, sometimes I'll put a little bit over some lipstick. Sometimes I will use them on their own. And this one right here is in Malt Shake. And this one I typically use on its own because it's very dark. It's pretty opaque. And it tends to really give you a lot of color and seems to act more like a moisturizing lipstick and there it is and you can see it's pretty dark and I have found that these are somewhat buildable like if you put them on and then you blot your lips a little bit to get the shine off and then you can reapply and you can apply a couple layers that it gives you a little bit more color now this one and by the way, this one, the Malt Shake is very matte. It's glossy, but it's matte. This one is in Strawberry. And if you, I don't know if you can see that. It's super glittery. It's very sparkly. It's got like a lot of gold flecks in it. This one right here gives your lips more of a pink tint or a pinkish red tint. It's not real dark. It's actually, this is actually a pretty sheer one. It's probably, I think it's actually probably maybe the most sheer out of all of them. And there it is. Right there. And the next one is called Pink Pop. And it also has some gold flecks. It's kind of glittery. If you, you can probably see it a little bit there. And Pink Pop is also pretty sheer. But you can build it up. It gives you a nice pretty pink color. If you're just very soft kind of baby pink. It's not as bright pink as it looks in the tube. And then there's a swatch right there. And of course after you smooth them out they're not quite as dark as these big spots are. And then here is my absolute favorite one. And this is in Goddess. And this one is shimmery, but not really glittery. And it's really nice if you're going for more of a nude lip and like kind of a beachy look, just a fresh look. And I think it's been great for summer. It's probably the one I've worn the most. And it's kind of almost a peachy brown kind of color. Uh, it's right there. And I really enjoy this color a lot. And I really enjoy all of these, the super glossy lip shines. I think they're a really good product. This consistency is very slightly sticky, but nothing that you wouldn't expect out of a lip gloss, especially a good lip gloss. Some lip glosses are just watery and don't do anything for you whatsoever. And so I really have enjoyed 
these. And wow, the sun's finally coming out after it's been storming all day. So I'm getting extra light on my face. But anyway, back to the super glossy lip shine. Those are really, really nice for just everyday wear. Um, if you just want to run out real quick or even I've worn them out for an evening. So I really have enjoyed those. They stay on while they're super moisturizing. Okay, now I'm going to go on to some of the tools that I have. The first off I have is this e.l.f. eyelash curler. And this is kind of spongy right in here. And so you can really crimp your eyelashes up. And this is only a dollar. And I've used other eyelash curlers, but for a dollar, this is the best one I've used. And you cannot beat the price. And it also comes with a replacement pad. And you can also buy replacement pads from the company. For this but I love this this is wonderful it gives your eyelashes a good crimp so they're nice and curled when you put your mascara on and so I really have enjoyed this and the next thing I'm going to show you is the large stipple brush and this is from the studio line they have a smaller stipple brush, but haven't been able to get it yet because it's been out of stock for quite a while. And this is super, super soft. It's wonderful for um, liquid foundation. And basically all you do is you just dot it on your skin. And it gives you a wonderful airbrush look when you're done with it. And you can see that it's not super dense right here. It's nice and airy and light. But it's actually got quite a few bristles. So I've been real satisfied with that. And every time I wash it, it looks brand new. The color does not bleed. And I don't think this brush has actually shed any, which has been nice. And I've actually been very surprised about that, but this is a $3 brush. And this is a $1 brush that I picked up at Target and it is the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. And it's a nice, short dense lightly is soft but it's slightly stiff brush it's wonderful for packing on color you can do a little blending with it if you want to but more than anything it's good for packing color on the eyelid and this does shed a little bit but not bad and I've washed this several times and it's still together and for a one dollar brush I couldn't be more pleased this is a great brush and you should pick it up this right here is the e.l.f. Professional Smudge Eye Sponge. And as you can see, it's just a little sponge. And this is wonderful for eyeliner, for smudging it out, especially on the top lashes. And that's mostly what I use it for. And unlike Erica Lee, who she calls it a sponge on a stick, which essentially is what it is, hers came out. But mine is actually still intact, and I have been really super happy with this. And this is also on the $1 line. Oh, and here's a lip product that slipped under the radar. Okay, so let's go back to lip products for a moment. This is the e.l.f. Hyper Shine Gloss in Flirt. And this is something they sent me, the company sent me as a free gift with my first purchase. And it's got a brush applicator, which is okay. Um, I'm, it's a little big for me for a brush applicator. But it's good just to put the color on. Uh, but after that, I prefer to take my lip brush and actually go over it and smooth it out and shape it the way I want it to look. And you just twist it up and the product actually comes out right there. And this is pretty sheer, as you can see. I'll show you in just a second. It's a flirts a nice kind of a almost a peachy coral color. But when it goes on your lips, it's actually more sheer than that. But you can also somewhat build this up. This one smells pretty good, but it doesn't smell as good as the super glossy lip shine, which actually smells really fruity. This one smells a bit more like cotton candy. This one does not taste as good as the super glossy lip shine. And then 
One product that I have absolutely fallen in love with is the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. And this end is the mascara end. This is the brow end. And personally, I don't know what the point of a clear mascara is. So I don't have not used the clear mascara. I have used, as you can see, I have used the brow one quite a bit. And the brow spoolie is just a little different than the others. It's a flat top, but you just brush it on and it just holds them in place. It doesn't make them stiff. Uh, it just keeps your brows from moving all around and I figure once I actually finish this side I'll end up just switching the brushes and go to this side and one thing that I have noticed about is my mom sold Mary Kay for many many years and they had a clear brow gel and this reminds me a lot of the Mary Kay brow gel and I used to really like that product because I do have pretty bushy eyebrows it's generic genetic trait in my family so i am blessed to not have to use eyebrow pencils and stuff all the time which is nice but this is nice to help tame that down and the next product is it's uh an eye elf brightening liner in the color of ash and that's just it's a gray color dark gray and these are these eyeliners are very super creamy and they go on well and this one you can actually build it up to where it's almost black looking but you can see that and then like if you wanted to smudge it out and soften it you can see how it softens so i really like that and this one comes with this little elf pencil sharpener which is handy for having pencils and then the next product is the e.l.f. Shimmer Eyeliner Pencil in Black. And one thing I was a little bit disappointed about with this product was the fact that, I don't know if you can see it on there, there is glitter in there. But when you use it, it doesn't actually show up on your eyes. And... So other than that, if you want a black liner, this is great. If you're looking for a sparkle, this is not going to give you that sparkle. Even though it's in there, it just doesn't show up. And this is also, I think this one's creamier than the other one. And that's that right there. And it doesn't, it stays dark when you smudge it out. And one of my favorite concepts for this pencil is the cap right here. The cap actually has a sharpener in it, and I have found that really handy so I can have a nice sharp pencil whenever I want one, and it's always there. I don't have to hunt for a pencil sharpener. So when I'm finished with that pencil, uh, that's I will probably definitely keep that pencil, the, um, the pick cap for that pencil. Sorry, i got to wipe my hand off a little bit. But, okay, the next thing I'm going to move on to are, is the mascara primer. And the mascara primer is in transparent. It does look white, just like all the other mascara primers out there. But it goes on clear, which I like because it doesn't change the color of your mascara at all. And I have used other mascara primers, including like Estee Lauder and for three dollars this actually does a really good job and i do like this and so i will definitely keep buying this this is a three dollar product and then at big lots the other day i just happened to find a box set of three of the eyelid primers and they were it was three dollars for the three which was great the first one is in nude and you can see it right there and then it just blends right on in and I'll even use a little bit of this underneath my eye where I want to put eyeliner just to help keep it from running and I found that that really works pretty well for that 
And then this next one is in pearl. By the way, the nude one is actually matte. There's no shimmer whatsoever to it. There's no glitter, nothing. It's just matte. The pearl, however, is white, and you could actually almost use it as a highlighter if you really, really wanted to. It does have shimmer to it. You can see that right there. And it, it does blend out but not as much as the other and it does leave a sheen and it does have glitter in it so that one is nice too but my favorite one so far has been the matte one the matte nude this right here is champagne you can see it's a nice brown and this one also does not completely go into the skin and it's kind of a mocha color a light mocha it's very it's not real sh it's not real shiny like the others but it does have some shimmer in it and that's it right there and you can see how it still is on there even after you blend it out it's still there so those are really nice they're creamy they don't take forever to dry like some things do so I have been very very pleased with those And then the next thing I'm going to move on to are and the Duo Eyeshadow Creams. And this first one is in Berry Mix. And they just twist off. And that's Berry Mix. This first color is just a nice light lavenderish pink. And the other is a nice dark berry, rich berry color. So I really like that. And the, the light side is super, super creamy and soft. And then the berry side is, it's creamy, but not quite as creamy. And you don't get quite as much color payoff with these as I do with my other eyeshadow duo, but they're not bad. They're buildable. They're good for the day, daytime. Um, and here I'll put the two colors right there together but these these are fairly light I do like to apply these with an eyeshadow brush you could also apply them with your finger but there's the light one and then, then there's the berry and you can see how I blended them together and then the next one is also a duo eyeshadow cream and this one is in mocha swirl and this one in mocha swirl looks like that and I did pick this one up at Kmart. And this purple, this is kind of a purpley brown it with a brownish tint to it. And then this is a nice mocha brown color. And both of these are super creamy and super pigmented. And that's the light color and then that's the darker color. And that's the light, what the light color goes on as. And Here's the dark color, and then the two are blended together in the middle. And you can put these on fairly sheer, or you can put these on fairly heavy. It just depends on what kind of look you're going for. If you're going for a more nighttime look, then um, you can put them on heavier, and it will last you all night. I found that they don't really tend to crease, which I do like, because I don't like it when my eyeshadow creases. and. Also having the eyelid primers on also help with the creasing. Okay, my next product that I want to show you is one that I found that was really unique. I thought was unique. And it's the Eye Transformer. And this is from the Studio Line. This is a $3 product. And it's a decent compact with the mirror. It does have a small brush that comes with it. I haven't really found much use for this brush. It's stiff enough. You could probably use it maybe for a smudge brush or something or a little, or maybe a liner. I don't, I don't know, but it's small. But it's decent, I guess. And the colors in here and the purpose of the eye transformer is so you can actually transform your darker eyeshadows to look lighter and can give them an opalescent quality to them and it actually does work and it really lightens eyeshadows up and it does make them look very pretty 
And the first one is very opalescent and it's a green. And it probably shows up white on the camera, but it's a very light green. The second one is kind of a brown peach kind of color. And it's kind of opalescent, but not as much, not nearly like the green. And then you have a pink, which is really pretty matte. It's not as pigmented or soft as the other ones. And then you have the blue one, which is actually a very opalescent one. And of course, none of these are extremely pigmented. They're not supposed to be. They say they can be worn by themselves, but I haven't, I tried that and they didn't show up really or do anything for me. They did much better over an actual shadow when you're actually trying to transform your shadow. So I preferred it for that. Um, that was a much better use of it. The next product I'm going to go to are some of the quads. And this and they all come with a little two-sided sponge tip, which sponge tips do come in handy, so I do hang on to these. This first one is in Nouveau Neutrals. And these are a little on some of these are a little on the powdery side, but they're not anything you can't work with. All of these are sparkly, especially this one right here. And I'll just go ahead and swatch all four of them for you. And these, um, the only one that seems really, the only two that are really pigmented are the silvery white in the topish color, the peach, and then the kind of muddy brown color right there. They're not real pigmented. So this is the white, this is the taupe. This is the peachy color, and then this is kind of the muddy brown color. And I'll say those do work nicely in them. Right there is all four of them on my hand. So the muddy brown one kind of comes off. The peachy one doesn't give you much of anything. The two that show up the best are the white and the dark taupe color. The next one I have, if I can open it, there we go. This one is 2012 Brownstone. And this one and this one are fairly matte. They're all a little shimmery. This one's the most shimmery, followed by that one. Um, and this is the peach color and the beige color this is the darker taupe and then this is the gray color and all these actually have pretty good pigment in them that's the lightest and then the light brown and then the darker brown and then the dark gray and those are really pretty nice and let's see the color payoff the peach the light brown Actually, they all give you a really good color payoff, if you can see that. So all of those are really nice. And I do like these because they do stay on well. And I found that you can actually use a little bit of water with an eyeliner brush and put them on. And they're just, you can have your own little, you know, make your own eyeliner out of it. Which is nice because you can't do that with every eyeshadow. At least that's, I found that that works for me doesn't mean it'll work for everybody but I prefer to I like to do that and then last one of these that I have is in a color called quad called drama and I really really like this one and the white is matte this gray one right here dark gray one is very very shimmery the blacks slightly shimmery and the silver is very shimmery and the color on these are actually pretty good. See, I'm barely even having to rub my hand, except for the silver needs a little bit more. There's the white, there's the gray, dark gray, there's the black, and then there's the silver. Yeah, let me swatch those. There's the white. 
And so you can see those show up fairly well. They do a fairly decent job. And I also, that one especially, I have used the black some for an eyeliner. And it has worked well for me. Sorry, I'm just trying to clean my hands off a little bit. Go through lots of baby wipes doing this. And then the next one I want to show you is one that I found at Big Lots the other week. And this is a smoky eye palette, and it also comes with a double ended sponge tip. And this has six colors. These are slightly, um, this purple one right here is slightly on the chalky side, but it's not too bad. Um, these actually have pretty good color payoff. They are all shimmery, especially this black one. And it's very, very pretty. It's very glamorous. And that's the white. That's the light purple. And it doesn't have as much color payoff as the others. The white one's almost creamy feeling, and that's the dark purple. Let me go ahead and swatch those three. Those are the first three, the white, the light purple, and the dark purple. And those are really nice. Um, the white definitely is a good highlight. The light purple just doesn't give you much color in my opinion. But it's the only one of the bunch that is like that. And then these bottom three are kind of a silvery color. Then there's a dark grayish silver. And then there's this big, nice, dark, sparkly black. And that's the silver. This is the dark gray, and it's pretty sparkly. And the black one gives you excellent color payoff. And my finger will still look like that even after swatching these colors on my hand. So. And as you can see, even after swatching, that's how my fingers look. And that's what's on my hand. So that's really not bad for a color. And they do give you some directions on how to use the Smoky Eye Kit. Now, I'm not sure if it's on the website or not. I don't know if it was just something that ended up at Big Lots and I happened to get it. But I'm happy I did run across it. They may still have it on the website. I'm not sure. I haven't actually looked for it. So... Because I don't usually buy, like, bigger palettes too often. And that black does not want to come off your skin. I will go ahead and warn you of that right now. You have to really rub it to get it off. There, I got most of it. I can go to my other hand for the other colors. Okay, and then these three eyeshadows are my favorites out of the entire bunch. These are the baked eyeshadows and they all have a kind of a nice creamy texture. They have really good color payoff and they're just they're just shiny, they're sh a little shimmery, they're pretty and you can use them very light, you can use them very very dark, you can use them with water and make a more dramatic effect. This one right here is in Pixie which is just a good peachy pink. And this is, Pixie is actually the name of my Shih Tzu, so I really like that too. And, and this one has kind of an opalescent sheen to it. As you can probably see that. And this is a really good highlight color. And that's how it goes on. And then I have one, and these three also go together very well. This one is in Burnt Plum. And it's a nice burgundy purple color. And of course you can get these darker or lighter depending on by how much you put on. And those are those two colors. And then the final one that I have is in Bark, which is a coppery brown color. And it's also very shimp just on the shimmery side they're not these are not glittery they're they just have a good bit of sheen to them a nice sheen and shimmer but not glitter 
and then this is the bark right here and those are the three together and as you can see these colors actually go together pretty well and now I have two products that are complete and total misses with me well one's kind of a uh, it's okay the other is a complete and total miss and something I really really wish I had never gotten because I don't like it at all the first one and this was only a dollar so this is the regular and waterproof mascara duo and this side is waterproof this side is regular and it's in black brown and it's just your normal mascara spoolie but I don't like these it's not that they go on and look bad when they go on it's more the fact that when you put them on they flake the regular one flakes almost immediately the waterproof one flakes after an hour or two of it being on there and so I don't like that I do not like flaking I, sh I, I need any sort of mascara I don't like it to flake and then the one that I am really unhappy with and wish I had never bought it and this is a complete and total miss with me is the elf mineral infused mascara and I have heard people rave about this but this just didn't do me any good and it goes on nice I actually like the wand it's a, kind of it's a silicone rubbery wand and and it's very flexible and it has a nice little tip so you can actually get to the corner of your eyes but what I don't like about this is after about an hour of wearing it I look like a raccoon with black circles all around my eyes and I just don't like that that's just gross and it burns my eyes and when it starts to flake it just burns and makes my eyes sting and I just don't like it but overall with the exception of the two mascaras I have liked every e.l.f. product I have tried and I highly recommend it um, it's a great product it's a great product line if you're looking for something inexpensive that's decent quality I highly recommend e.l.f. and so I hope you all subscribe and I will do some more reviews I have some it cosmetics reviews I want to do and of course I will do some more e.l.f. and I have some different cosmetic uh, reviews I want to do and I want to review some massage creams since I'm a massage therapist and I will see you all next time. Bye.